Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 19, and this is war number four. And we're going up against an alliance called Alianca Beast Morphers. All right, so as usual, I have already gone in, looked over the fights that I was going to be taking, and I chose my team. It's a standard team. Now, I want you to notice something. My guillotine 2099 is dead. I actually recorded, but I did not have air server up. So the recording had no gameplay in it. I was not happy. But basically what happened, um, I underestimated uh, just how much those furies would stack up. And uh, she was able to catch me. Uh, this was an Emma Frost that I was fighting on that node. And uh, she was almost dead. I had her down and I slipped up. She fired that special one off. Got me good. One special one took all my life. Um, guillotine 2099's regen didn't help at all. All right, but I got her down, you know, the next time around there. All right, so you can see that I'm going around, okay, and I'm going to go ahead and take that Mr. Sinister. You know, I got Warlock, and I would have taken Mr. Sinister with Guillotine 2099. When I looked over the path that I was going to have to take, and I saw that Mr. Sinister, I was thinking that. So I'm showing you guys the uh, buffs that we have to deal with. I had already looked at them, but... I think it's a good idea to show you guys uh, the buffs in the video. All right. So that defense tactic flow, well, guillotine 2099 doesn't activate it. Then you have Mr. Sinister. She doesn't crit. So that is like a perfect fight for her. And, you know, he might get some healing. Well, she's got on her special two, she can put a specter on him. All right. Now, you see that I boosted up. I actually have two in my overflow. This one was about to expire. So that's why I went ahead and did that. Not because I thought I was going to need it, but may as well use it. Okay. Um, I think it, um, I was capped out and I figured, you know, when it came around, let me go ahead and grab an extra two just in case I needed it. All right. So you can see I'm just destroying this Mr. Sinister. Okay. Here we go. And I messed up there. Guess I did need it, huh? All right, and uh, we pushed him to a special two again, and that's because of that uh, defense tactic flow. I evaded that one, no problem. Okay, we've got that infection on him, so he's not gonna be healing up like he normally would. And he went down. And you can see Warlock, even though I got clipped a little bit, um, I had that indestructible and uh, didn't take that much damage. Okay, not that much damage at all. So, Mr. Sinister went down. Now we got to deal with Namor. And I didn't see anything difficult about this. We got Buffet, but with Omega Red, I believe uh, at 10 spores, um, you shouldn't have to worry about that. And I went ahead and checked real quick because I wanted to make sure that I still had that active. May as well get, you know, my mileage out of it. Uh, and this way I might be able to tank a special three. So I decided to go in with uh, Omega, not Omega Red, but with Warlock because I couldn't remember. Uh, Omega Red should have worked just fine with the 10 spores, but I was like, you know what? Let's go in with uh, Warlock. I don't play him a whole lot uh, and he is awesome. Okay, he is definitely worthy uh, to play. You know, granted, with a uh, defense tactic uh, flow, he will trigger it. But when they're infected, you know, they're not going to be getting any kind of uh, regen. And so, as you can see, that fight went nice and smooth. All right. So that was the end of my fights. So you only really got a chance to see me do two fights. Um, I did three. Uh, they did not place anyone on that first node. However, we've got a bunch of fights by Jigner 
my current alliance leader. And I haven't seen them either. So let's go over there and check them out. All right. So I haven't seen these videos yet. So first up, we've got a fight between uh, Gwenpool and Hyperion. And I'm not sure what the node was here. He didn't show us the node first. But rest assured, he did check. And uh, he knows exactly what the nodes are. Okay, so there we go. Baited out that Hyperion. That's always the one that's really a pain. All right, so I can kind of guess uh, a little bit because I saw Unblockable and I see the healing or the regen. Uh, and oh, man, yeah, not fun. But she's actually a pretty good counter because she will not die to a special. So as long as you, you know, play very well, you know, you can tank a special three, you know, several times. You might, you know, go down to one hit point, but you can still fight. You just can't get hit, you know, at all. No block, no anything, but good choice. All right, so here we go. We've got masochism. Okay, and of course, same defense tactic. Uh, I personally hate masochism, but... Uh, a good option for masochism is someone that puts a lot of debuffs on them. And Blade certainly does that. Okay? So, good choice there. Um, and as long as you, you know, you really don't need a particular uh, counter for masochism. You just have to remember, you know, if you try to parry, that first one's probably not going to go. But then after that, you'll be able to do it. Okay? Um, man, I hate fighting, uh, oh man, I hate fighting Ebony Maw. All right, so here we go. He fired off his special two. So much damage. Love that blade, man. Love the blade work. Good work, man. Uh, so yeah, blade is still good for 2020. Just, just so y'all know. All right, so now let me see. Does he take this guy? Let's see, looks like he's planning on it. Yep, there we go. Okay, you got that strike counter fury. Blah. Okay. So let's see. Looks like he's going to go in with Blade again. And notice we're not, you know, he's not boosting up a whole lot or, you know, using a lot of uh, items. Uh, we're not trying to push in war right now. You know, we're trying to go, you know, we still would like to win, but it's going on a case by case basis. You know, if it looks good, if it looks like we can do it with a very minimal item use, then, you know, he'll tell us, go ahead. You know, let's let's try and do it. All right. Or let's see. Yeah, it looks like he's going to tear this guy up. Call Obsidian is not very difficult to fight. He doesn't really have any immunities and he has very, very horrible block proficiency. OK, and down he goes. Is this making you guys maybe want to dust off your blades if you have a blade? Blade is still good, man. All right. And I'm pretty sure he's going to take this Annihilus. Um, he's got Ghost Rider. So that means Blade is going to have that synergy. You can see the uh, active buffs he's going to have to deal with. It's not a bad placement for uh, that Annihilus. Okay. Uh, but... Blade, with the Ghost Rider synergy, gets Danger Sense. So that Danger Sense shuts down a lot of the node, as well as the, bil the abilities of Annihilus. Okay, so it makes him a little bit easier to deal with. Blade is, is still a beast, okay? Um, but you do need to bring that Ghost Rider synergy along. Uh, unless you're facing a dimensional being, then you don't need a synergy for that. But, you know, um, Annihilus is a man. He's gotten in the corner. Wow. I bet you you wanted to fire that special two off instead of that special three and kind of got trapped in that corner and panicked a little bit. I don't blame you, especially against Annihilus. That is not where you want to be in that corner. Ooh, look at that. Oh, and he went to a special three. Yeah, I see. You're trying to get all that damage in as much as possible. All right. Now, will you survive this? If you survive this, 
you can uh, get it. All right. Okay. Yep. You survived it. You're good. All right. You probably can finish it off with a special uh, two. Yep. That's what I would do. You see how he did that? Um, he was going unstoppable. He was about to get wrecked in that corner. And he fired that special two and did a lot of damage, even though Annihilus was unstoppable. That's exactly what I would have done in that situation. Good, good play, man. All right. So now we got that again. Uh, strike counter. Okay, that's a different strike counter. All right. And he's going in. Notice he's not healing up. Blade doesn't exactly need it. All right. So here we go. See, he's trying to get that. I see you, you're parrying, letting that bleed tick away and uh, healing up a little bit. All right. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, Blade Blade is awesome, man. Uh, I know some people don't think Blade is good uh, anymore, but he's still good. But that's fine. People don't have to, you know, believe Blade is good. Uh, my boy Jigner here, he knows about Blade, and he is taking it to him with that Blade. You know, if they are not Bleed immune, or if he can just get that Danger Sense, even if they are Bleed immune, doesn't matter. And I notice he's playing it safe. He's not trying to, you know, evade a lot of this because in war, you know, you miss one little evade and that can be it. I really don't like Alliance War and I don't like that about Alliance War. And uh, it looks like they were set to make Alliance Quest just as bad, but they're going to be uh, pulling back on some of that stuff. All right, there you go. He evaded that one. No problem but he has enough health. Uh, and if you don't know already, uh, Blade can only get up to 70% of his health with the uh, regen. Now, if he had some other uh, regen going on or some other way to heal, he could go past 70. But his own ability will only take him up to 70. Once he's at 70, his own ability will not uh, get him up there. But just look at this. Jigna making it look easy. Oh, he slept on it. I see what happened. You should have just blocked there. I know he was probably going, man, I had full health. You know, 70% is full health for Blade, like I explained. Uh, so I already know he was just like, I don't believe that. I could, I could just hear you, Jigna. I just can hear you. All right. So there we go. We've got, you know, those buffs up there. And he's going to be dealing with this human torch. You do not want to go against Human Torch with a Mystic or anyone that does energy-based damage. But Blade doesn't do either. He's not Mystic, and he doesn't do any uh, damage. Now, uh, another reason that Blade is good against this Human Torch is uh, the bleed. When Human Torch is bleeding, it keeps his, uh, if I remember correctly, it keeps his uh, temperature down. So it's really good uh, to fight him with someone that can bleed him. All right. And I can see here, uh, I used my blade in variant and there was a fight that took forever, but all I did was parry that entire fight. Yeah. I see you just, uh, blocking. That's a good thing. Fire that special two off. Yep. There you go. That special two is so devastating. Look at that. He's back up to a special two again. Yep. He may not want to deal with that special two, though, of human torches. It's uh, annoying sometimes. All right. Get that special two off. There it is. He's just tearing him up. And look at that. Uh, ooh, got caught. But that's okay. He's still doing good. Uh, and for you guys that don't know, when your opponent is bleeding, Blade has a power gain. So you can see he's just ripping it up. And look at this. Look at all that health he's regening up. You know, he wants to finish this fight, you know, as full as he can. And there you go. Finish it off. Beautiful. All right. So we'll be back in a minute and we'll find out how we did in this war. And we're back. And as you can see, we actually won this war. We're on a little streak. We won our last war and we won this war as well. So that's two wars in a row. 
Uh, we're not pushing in this war. Uh, our strategy, you know, is get those bosses down at all costs. If we can do exploration after that, we'll do it. Get more points because we do still want to win. But we're not about to spend a whole lot of items or anything like that with war in its current state. Okay, so that's going to do it. Take care. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.